Good evening, my friends, family, and viewers across the world. Today is the 20th of December, 2021. It is just five days away from Christmas, and it is an appropriate time for me to deliver this first message, one of many to come in the year 2022. For all of us, this year 2021 has been a terrible year of suffering, misery, uh, despair, uh, hopelessness, uh, financial problems, uh, family problems, health problems, you name it. It's been suffering, suffering, suffering and leading to a lot of anxiety depression and not knowing what is coming our way. It's like a runaway train coming head on to us. So I say to you, relax and listen to what I've got to say because I have been through quite a number of life-threatening situations both from within the body and outside the body. And it is in that context that I understand what suffering, misery and pain and uncertainty is all about. I, I also happen to be the author of the bestseller, Who Dare Sells? And here it is. This is a state-of-the-art book that took 12 years to research and write and there are some cutting edge techniques that I'm going to bring to you, to your attention in the new year in various episodes to follow. This is given purely from a humanitarian point of view to help people cope with life. I've seen it all. I've been all around the world and I attribute my success to the message of Christmas where everything that I've been through and had to endure, I've had a solution to my problems and with the grace and help of God Almighty that came down to earth in this, in this uh, little uh, crib which I bought in 2018 the birth of Jesus Christ in Bethlehem. And here it is. I was so touched by it that, you know, in when I came back to the UK, I had to purchase a, a, a bigger size uh, model of the crib. So what I'm going to do is, you know, read what is written about the, the olive wood that comes from Bethlehem, where Christ was born, from which these carvings are made. And let me read what, what the box says, describing the olive trees. The olive tree is an evergreen tree that grows in the Holy Land. It has numerous branches and can survive up to 2,000 years. According to the Bible, it was an olive branch that Noah's dove brought back to the ark. Jesus prayed in Gethsemane near an olive tree that still exists today. And by the way, when I went to Bethlehem uh, and to Jerusalem, I've, I, I've seen that olive tree firsthand manuf manufacturing religious and artistic artifacts from the wood of this popular tree has long been a tradition among the natives of Bethlehem. I was so, as I said, touched by this miniature one which I bought in 2018 from Pure Hollywood that I, when I came back to the UK, I ordered a, a bigger size model here with showing uh, the three wise men and these are all the animals that were in the uh, in the place where Christ was born in Bethlehem and there's Mother Mary and here we have 
in this little crucible is is the uh, the the frankincense crystals. Uh, I, I'd like to just raise it and show you. I've got it's giving out uh, the incense, and there it is. You can see see the uh, crystals burning burning on, on the charcoal, and it gives a, a lovely uh, fragrant smell. And then there's a myrrh, which is also uh, the, the myrrh, these both come from from different trees. Uh, this is from the uh, the sap of different trees, and it's a very touching experience for one to have been there. And you can just imagine, turn back the clock two thousand years, and when we didn't have all this modern technology, and when you see the uh, see the landscape there and the deserts and the camels, you know, it make, brings you very close to nature. So, so, so much so that uh, being a singer and songwriter, and I wrote it and, and, and produced it, uh, it's called Christmas is Coming, which, which, we, which I'm going to play in, the, in my jukebox here. As you can see, this jukebox resembles a, a touch of the past. So this program which I'm doing uh, as an icebreaker is to tell you what is to come. So I, I request you to keep tune, tuned in because I'm going to cover various topics that are going to help you in your life. It will cover health, well-being, uh, business, self-improvement, cuisines, travel, just to name a few, and I'm hoping to, with the grace of God, to be able to, uh, you know, fill next year's, uh, next year's uh, episodes with an abundance of uh, knowledge, skills to help you in your life. I've, I've, I've acquired a lot, but I also want to give a lot, and you are my first concern, and if you're suffering uh, and undergoing pain, trauma, or even if you think you're on the crest of the wave, uh, you know, always bear in mind that what goes up must come down. There'll be good times and bad times. Uh, so I will help you to achieve good times, and I will also help you if you're undergoing bad times. I'm, and I can deal with any type of person. I move with all types, the good, the bad and the ugly. It is my duty to help you with no strings attached. May God bless you and I wish you and your family and loved ones a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Thank you one and all. This is Patrick Ellis speaking to you from London, England. is coming to tell us all about Jesus As the whole world prepares to celebrate The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary A Savior will be born on Christmas Day See Christmas trees, sent and frosty the snowman. Fairy lights, bonbons and all kinds of gifts. Balloons, baubles and Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Hear carols and jolly songs to tell us Christmas is here. 
Christmas turkey and pud And the wine will go around freely Laughter and joy are bound to prevail And we should never forget To help if we can the needy As they celebrate the same old Christmas Day Christmas is coming to tell us all about Jesus As the whole world prepares to celebrate Christmas is coming to tell us all about Jesus Christmas Day.